Hey y'all, hey, thank you so much for clicking on this video today. Today's video is my master bedroom makeover and y'all, it was a long time coming. The prior look to what you're seeing right now was very drab and I just wasn't feeling it anymore. The vibe had left the building and I just, it was almost stealing my joy every time I came into this room. So I knew that this space needed to be revamped. I needed a little bit more fabulousness going on to match my vibe. But anyway, I hope you guys are interested in what it is that I have done to the space. I will be sharing like where everything came from as well as linking everything in the description box as much as I possibly can. But um, as beautiful as you think what you can see is there are still areas of the space that I just have not um, touched yet just because I wasn't able to source what I really wanted in time to do this reveal because life must go on after this makeover. But um, I really wanted you guys to see what it looks like before I get into all the details surrounding me. So I'm going to insert some clips and some footage of the disaster it was before the, the many days it took me to um, make this dream come true. everything that was wrong and a big issue of this space now we are going to get into the main like what you see when you enter my room um you see my curtains and i am in love with what we have done to this space all i did was take down the curtain rods and i spray painted them gold it was the gold leaf um krylon metallic gold i'll show you guys what that looks like as far as the spray can i only used one and i spray painted all of the hardware the existing hardware in this room as far as the curtain rods <laughs> the nails the screws the little knobs on my nightstands as well as the lamp bases which we'll get into that a little bit further as we move along in the the space of this room but as far as the my desk i do have a designated video all about how i created that little workspace for me to make these videos for you guys and create all the content as far as my social medias and things like that but above the desk it was very empty and i didn't really know what to do with that space but you know it seen the distressed little um circle that was right above the bed well i just moved it on over above my desk and i just think that it works out so beautifully and it's it's more of a fitting spot for that piece of I don't even know what that's called y'all so leave it down in the comments for me and others because I'm a little bit lost but I just love that little piece and I didn't really want to get rid of it but I didn't want it as the focal point above my bed any longer so yeah as far as the curtains they came from Target I have them leaked down in the description box for you but um I know that they look a little wrinkly but I do enjoy that look. It gives the room a little bit more texture. And I did not paint these walls, these external or these other three walls outside of this blue wall that was already existing. Um, 
I just didn't want to. I was a little bit tired. Y'all know if you've been here long enough that I've done a lot of little makeovers in certain areas of the home already and I was just not feeling a whole paint job. But anyway, it just works out with the primed walls that we already have. So yeah, I'm loving my little desk area and the curtains and everything like that. But also um, over in the corner, I do have a little book shelf little stand that i was using prior in the loft space but it just wasn't working out and if you've seen that video then you know that i replaced these little book stands with um a six cube um organizer a six cube organizer for the loft and so i just bought one into my room because i needed somewhere to put my printer and all that jazz but I'm also storing like some um, printer paper and my extra colorful pens when I want to be crafty and things like that. But um, yeah, let's move on to the floor and the rug underneath the bed. So the rug underneath the bed is actually, <laughs> there's a story behind that. And I guess I'll just have to share that at a later date because I don't want to get into all the drama that came along with this whole rug here but i did have a lot of problems getting this under the bed because it was just me this whole project and i thought i could use lucas to just help me pull the rug as i lifted the bed well that just was not a, a good idea so i opted to get the jack for my car and i just jacked the bed up and i just shimmied and pulled until i got it to where i thought it was Kind of symmetrical it's not exactly perfect because like i said it was just me i didn't really have any help nobody to call to assist me with this but i did the best that i could do and y'all it did add more texture to the floor because the carpeting is already soft but the rug itself is a little bit more stiff to the touch but it's still soft if that makes any sense at all but i love the way it feels and the look of it in this space now so we are going to move on to the bed <laughs> now i didn't get a new bed this gray bed has been here um ever since we moved in this house and i think i ordered it from overstock i don't really recommend the bed because you could probably break this bed <laughs> yeah you could probably break this bed and um yeah so if you grow you might want to go ahead and invest in something a little bit more sturdy but um i didn't have the resources at the time right as of today to buy a new bed hopefully we can upgrade at some point down the line but as of right now this bed is working for us and it is a queen size bed but um as far as the bedding i did a target haul and i did share with you guys that i bought a new duvet by casa luna and so I just have a new duvet. I have new sheets. I also shared them in that video as well. I have it linked in the cards for you if you are interested in all my target finds of that video. And as far as the accent pillows, the two ivory colored ones, I found them on Amazon. And I always like to buy pillow covers because I'm, I'm not one of those people that just see a bunch of throw pillows and I got to hoard them. I have no space for them and I just don't like a bunch of pillows laying around. So I am a cover girl. I like to buy duvet covers and pillow covers. So yeah, I'll have them linked down in the description for you. But I also went ahead and bought new um, throw pillow inserts because the ones prior to the bed they were really stiff and i couldn't do that karate chop i couldn't do that so if you can't do that it's time to probably make a change in your space and yeah you can't go wrong with durable washable pillow inserts so make sure you're looking in that description box you guys and the small little lumbar pillow i found the pillow cover also from amazon and that pillow insert also from amazon and everything came in a set of two and i think that i could have gotten away with three um accent pillows as far as the ivory color ones but i didn't want to create the illusion of the bed being larger than what it is because honestly I, I don't have a problem with the queen size bed. I do feel like later on down the line we would want a king size. But I think it will take up a lot of our space in this room. But anyway, like I said, that's further down the line as far as us buying one. But um, 
So yeah, that's my bed. And as far as the throw on the end of it, this beautiful blue throw blanket, I found that at Target. And the white furry one, it's really soft. I love it. It also came from Target, but like two and a half years ago maybe two years ago for a christmas um i had a gift card and that's what i bought because i always wanted a fuzzy throw blanket and i just really like the dimension that it has now that it's like layers i i would say my bed is just so comfortable and luxurious now y'all you don't have to spend a lot of money to live in luxury and i i i would say that this bedroom is luxurious because y'all seen what it was before and today it is just completely transformed and it's comfortable and I love it. Getting back to the desk, um, the little throw that I have on the back of the chair, I just use that sometimes when I'm editing and I just get a little bit chilly. I just use that and I also put the second um, throw, the second throw uh, pillow and it is also covered in blue and I just love the pops of blue in my room because y'all know that's my favorite color if you are not new here but yeah let's move on to the nightstands like I said the nightstands I took the lamp bases and I spray painted them gold and I took the knobs off the nightstands and I also spray painted them because y'all the lamps that I wanted was $50 a piece and they were clear and um, it just wasn't that big of a deal for, to me. All I did was buy new lampshades from Target and they were $10 a piece. And the lamps may be off scale just a little bit because they are small for the space now that I added the mirrors that are also from Amazon. Um, and they are arched. And when I got those mirrors, they came with a leather strap and a wooden knob to be attached to the wall. Well, I did not like that look, so I just took the leather strap off. And the hardware that is on it, I'm not mad at that. That does not bother me in the slightest that that is still existing. If you don't like it and you want to order these mirrors and you figure out how to remove it and not make it look a little bit crazy, then girl do you boo but as for me and in my space it was not a necessity for me to remove that hardware but as far as the nightstands and how i styled them on my side i found the little greenery the little plants from home goods and as far as the coasters they came in a set of four i also have one on um sugarfoot's nightstand and i have one on my desk if you missed that earlier they are so super heavy i think it's real marble and as far as the little white box with the gold accents i use that sometimes at night i take my jewelry off if i forget or my earrings are bothering me i'll just take them off and i'll put them in that little box and i just love how everything turned out um it's simple it's not overly dressed because the nightstands themselves aren't that large. I hope in the f in the future I can get one of those nightstands that have three drawers, just a little bit more expanded, a little bit more space and stuff that I can actually use. But um, as far as my side, that is how it is looking. Now on his side of the bed, I chose this large jack. I put it on his side because I thought it was a little bit more distinguished and masculine because in real life, I'm probably not going to ever play a game of jacks because I don't want my hands to be... Y'all, people get rough with like hand grabby games. I'm not about that life. So I put that on his side of the bed as, and also a, a piece of greenery, a little um, plant and a coaster for his nighttime glass of water. But yeah, that's how I styled our nightstands in very cute very simple i repurposed my lamps i just bought new lampshades and threw up a mirror above it and i also want to be honest with you guys i didn't use any tools as far as um making everything centered or straight i didn't have a leveler which i have two levels in my garage so i didn't use any of that i just eyeballed everything so give myself a pat on the back but what you all are probably interested more so in is probably the abstract artwork above my bed and i found that at target now they were 50 dollars, and i feel like i can justify that price in the fact that if i would have tried to recreate it these with all the colors that i can pull from these pieces of art 
in the future in like for seasons i just think that i would have spent a ton of money with buying the the canvases framing it with real wood and just all the colors that i would have had to buy i came out pretty good and i love them if you like it please make sure you are giving this video a big thumbs up oh my god i'm like so excited to be sharing this space with you guys because i have been holding out for a little while now but yes the artwork is beautiful and there's only one more thing i want to share with you guys um before i show you the the problem areas but um also facing luke aka sugarfoot side of the bed are these beach coastal themed photos and i printed them from walgreens if you're not using walgreens to print your photos and things like that that you want to frame you're missing out because i spent five dollars on those prints because it was half off and they always doing 50 percent off sales on their photos and prints like that but the frames i did invest in those the frames are from target and they were i believe they were 16 dollars a piece so yeah that whole thing was a little bit pricey but i downloaded the prints from etsy and i'll try to download my exact prints um it came in a set of six but two of them i didn't use because it had pink in it and i didn't want to pull pink in my room so yeah and i just i created that space specifically for luke because he is such a beach bum like y'all if his whole life would be complete if all he had to do every day was go to the beach and sit down and drink his Bud Lights and all that, he would just be a happy man. But I just wanted him to wake up and just when he's turned to the to the right, he can see those pictures and just be in his his little happy place before he starts his day of going to work so yeah i just love how it complements the room i know that a lot of you probably are like none of these little areas go at all but at the end of the day it's my room and i feel joy when i come in here i think it looks great leave your thoughts of the room in the comments because i am really curious to know what it is that you guys think of the space how do you feel about it? Was there something that you would have done differently? Um, also, a quick fun fact about the prints. I used a piece of lint on my bed to like line up the pictures in the frames. I know it sounds ratchet, but that's what I did, y'all. I didn't, like I said, I didn't really use any tools. I just had my measuring tape and a hammer and some nails and, oh, and command strips because the back of those mirrors they don't have like the little jigsaw hanging piece so i have four command strips on each mirror and that was it y'all i did it all by myself except um i did have help with the curtains being put up because he did put those up for me and take them down but yeah i love how the room looks it looks so good yeah when I look at the room and I just, I'm just happy. If you can't tell that I'm a happy girl, then I don't know if you're going to see it today. Because this is just pure joy and I really just love how it turned out. Yeah, I can't stop looking at it. But anyway, now that we have gone over all of the beauty of the room, let me show you what it is that I and having some issues with um and maybe you guys can help me with that as well so let me turn you guys around so i'm keeping it very raw and real with you guys this is my problem area um the 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 space of this wall is just so narrow and small and this jutting out as far as like the closet space is is hazardous and this was an old desk from our um apartment before we moved here and it has served its purpose but i feel like i'm gonna insert something that i think will work and i found it at ikea and it's just like um a shoe compartment little thing and it's the profile of it is really narrow really thin and i think it will go perfectly up here if we mount our tv to the wall and i think that this space can look a whole lot better but right now this is really bothersome to me because it doesn't um convey all of that 
beauty that's going on behind it so i really need some help y'all um if you see something that you think will fit my space please dm me if you follow me on instagram send me a dm with a picture of it or send me a link to something that you think that i would enjoy in this space because i would really appreciate it because some of y'all like to shop and y'all probably know other stores that i just haven't tapped into yet because i don't know anything about them but I really just need to um, work on this space next and then I think the room would be 100%. If you enjoy this video and you think that this master makeover is as refreshing and as beautiful as I think it is, please make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe if you are new here because the future videos are going to be awesome. There's other places in this house that I really want to make over it's, and it's more cleaner content and all that jazz if you like organization this is the channel for you and yeah that's it if you have any questions about anything that i showed you guys or yeah just let me know in the comments i love to chat with you guys like i said give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in my next video bye